to do this. What was that for? What? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because you told me I have to do it so we can make sure our sound is synced. And I forgot to do it last time. Well, you I wouldn't do that. Action. Action. Um, I'm put this, thank you. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that word. What hey. word? Crap. I just said it again. Hey, at YouTube, please don't get that close to me. Oh, birthday girl. It's not my birthday anymore. It was my birthday yesterday. Oh, you're older than that. Yes, I am. It's a fact of life. We just we are. We just finished filming a. What are you doing? Using reflective. Oh, I should keep interrupting. Okay, I'm going to start this again. Hey everyone, we are. No, that's horrible. No, 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 no. I don't know. Ah! I don't like this. I can't know why I can't talk properly today. She's not using your baby, baby voice or Moira voice. Put your Moira voice no, on No, I'm not talk. going to. Oh, you don't watch it anymore. No, it's just, oh my God. It's finished. Hey everyone, we have just finished doing a, a tutorial for Inspire. We, Peter's built um, a set and then he's just done one lighting setup, but goes through all of that and shows you how many different looks we can get. So we're going to show you the, it's the final thing and then run that through with you. Uh, if you do want to see the full tutorial though, there will be a link down below in the description. We do have heaps of other things in the description as well. We get so many questions like where can you get Peter's t-shirts, like, what camera stand is he using, um, like workshops, inspire, etc. So all of that is down in the description below about, um, yeah, about like all the gear and stuff we use and, <laughs> and is there anything else I needed to say? Or did I actually get it all for once? I wasn't listening, I was just oh looking at 4.5 was too dark, no I changed one, to 3.5. No one listens to me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. We're just going to run through this. Yes. <laughs> the yes. final and what's, look. And what's that over there? That, this is a wall with paint on it. New wall? Yes. Which, if you guys want to know how to make those walls, there is a tutorial on YouTube as well. You can go back. Maybe I should leave a link to that as well. I just try and put as many. You, you know what that wall is, don't you? It was my wall that was really bad. And I overpainted it. It looks a lot better now. <laughs> Mine was really bad. <laughs> Not a painter. <laughs> cool. So what I've got set up, um, I wanted to set up a shoot to be able to shoot lots of different looks without having to change very little. So we have a Pro Photo D2X or whatever it's called with, I think they're called Magnum reflectors. They're really cool reflector. If you got a Pro Photo gear, that is my favorite reflector. So we just got one of them running from here as our main light. Then we just have a big octa box up here. This is our fill light to make sure our shadows when I shoot from here aren't too dark because the main light's coming from here, so when I'm shooting the model from here, I haven't got much light. I'm getting a little bit of bounce coming off the floor onto this. But this just gives me a kick to at least make a usable picture here. Then I'll show you a trick to make it even more usable. So I want to show you how I can shoot from this angle right through to this angle without changing anything then move the model the full way around all these walls and still be able to shoot just with the same settings to get different looks. So I'm gonna snap off a starting picture just so I can talk you through my settings a little bit. So if we do maybe a slightly front on picture. There's our shot there, and with this uh, overexposure warnings on, so you'll see that if I move sliders around, uh, you'll see that I don't have to move much and we start to go over. So about, it's about a third of a stop, the K on the Kelvin Klein starts to go over. Name dropping, labels. <laughs> um, so that gives me that shot. It's, 
I love this shadow. The whole thing is to have a high contrast. You'll see that I've pushed my contrast up a lot. I've also put a fair bit of shadow fill in to protect my shadows a bit with that much contrast. A tiny bit of clarity, but that's Hasselblad clarity, so it doesn't do much. A down curve and pretty much my, it's a pretty standard green channel look that I do. So one of the things I found is when I was shooting it, if I came right around to here, do a really nice headshot. I just felt that my mid-tones were a little bit too dark for my liking. So I love the highlights. Absolutely really like the highlights. I like my blacks, but the mid-tones to me were too dark. So one of the things I did is at the moment I'm shooting at 160th of a second, I brought my shutter speed down to a 30th of a second. Now everybody's going to say, oh my god, you're going to get blurry shots. But good quality lights turn on and off at around about 1600 to 2000 of a second. So they're going to freeze the highlights for me. So this was shot, the camera settings, 100 ISO, 160 of a second, F8. All I've done is brought this down to a 30th of a second. And that is so I can get the ambient light that's in this place to fill in the mid-tones and some of the shadows. Cool, beautiful, that's pretty. And you'll see that that has just popped up in her face. You'll see that's just made it that little bit lighter in her face. When the sun comes out, it's much lighter. So with this, we've just got the darkest clouds come over right now, but that'll pop up even lighter once the sun comes out. But even at that, that is usable for me. I can, that, to me, that's enough details in the face for my liking. So with this, it gives me that room that I only have to change my shutter speed when I want to have complete um, darkest. So that's now giving me that pop. So instantly, I brought it a little bit closer to that octobox and the sun came up a fraction and gave me that pop up. So that allows me now to shoot the shot from that angle. But if I just take it back, well, I can even leave it at this. I can do the whole shoot at this. So I'll move you to that, back to that middle. And I'm just gonna do a run around on this shot. So if, So even though I moved to that quick, I actually refocused every single picture on this circle. And you'll see the whole way around, rah, rah, we have nice light. So I can work the entire way around her and get beautiful light which makes my job really, really easy as a photographer. Now, I have so many different angles I can shoot without having to adjust a single thing. So if we do a little bit of a fashion shoot, I'm going to, cool. I'm very fussy with, cool, that's awesome. Ice, 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 there. I've been doing a little bit of work with Rara and a lot of models and I find that working with video, making them to do video work, where I'm video them rather than still shooting them, sneak up to me a little bit, that really gets them to understand the difference between just being an e-commerce type model to being a high-end model because it's not about that frame, I'm gonna move and stop on this picture, it's about the emotion of drifting and allow the photographer to grab the frame because the model has got no idea what you look like right now, do you, Rara? Has no idea what she looks like. But I can see when I like to take, so the more she moves, the more it allows me to actually grab it when I see what she's doing. Cool, beautiful, there, cool, stunning, stunning, stunning. That's really pretty. Now with, Mon uh, with Rara, cool doesn't work with her. It's not like something that gives her inspiration that she's doing a good job. So she really works off beautiful, gorgeous, pretty, those words. So like you hear me with other models going cool, 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 cool. <laughs> they're models that really don't get inspiration off pretty, gorgeous, beautiful. But Rara does, so I use those words more. Beautiful, stunning. That's really pretty. Drop it in, drop it in. They're nice. Ice, ice, 
beautiful, beautiful, to get my shot in here. So now let's do some playing. So if we just come in there, they come in here, and we go in for a nice, beautiful headshot there. That's really pretty place. You're gonna see we get this stunning, beautiful, clean, light in the face. We, very little retouching needs to be done on this picture at all because we've got the light coming straight into her face. So if I move her along the wall a little bit further, we're coming to a new wall. And I come in here a little bit. The sun's punched up a lot. Yes. My camera's very... Well, do you want to get your spot? She blinked. First time. Oh my God. So we're, even with the sun coming up a lot, you'll see at a 30th of a second, my other exposures only come up a fraction more. Nice blinky shot. Do you wanna jump? So we've done here, we've done there. Let's come into the corner. So remember, the light is up there. Thanks. This light down here is just a fill light. There is our main light. I need to get around to film that. So no. first I'm gonna shoot it just in the corner. That's cool, that's really cool. So this is gonna give us that cool fashion-y look. So you see this gives us this nice even lighting right throughout her. Come out to about the middle. So if we just work on the middle, and I want to show you, this is cool. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. So we're going to see that's right in the middle of the shot. Now, take a step. Cool. Take a step. Cool. Take a step. Cool. Take a step. Cool. We got shots the whole way out, which means we can pretty much light anywhere in this area. Now, even more so, we can jump her over, no, jump back against that wall. So what I might do is just do a, a lap around her, our light's gone down, so that bounces. Yeah, sorry. We always film late in the afternoon because we get the most clouds that come and go, and Beck loves this. So much fun. We so, try to shoot in the morning. Yeah, but. By the time we finish our no. salads and now <laughs> just come back to this. I'm just going to shoot around uh, a little bit to show you. So there's our shot in there, which is really pretty. I can come in here, throw me around. It's stunning, stunning. You can see I can run around this wall now. And I haven't changed the setting yet. I'm still shooting on the same setting the whole time. Uh, we're gonna go, no, just back a bit, don't sneak up. Rara right, right, loves this shot. We shot this a minute before and she absolutely loved it. So we shoot through the ladder. Cool, that's really pretty. It's stunning, it's stunning, it's stunning. So it's a little bit, um, Peter Lindbergh, he used to put a lot of things in between him and the uh, model as like something to shoot through. But that just gives us, it frames up this picture really nice. And I know this looks crazy, but some of my fashion clients love this type of stuff the most. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's cool, that's really cool. We didn't actually do this. Do you want to sneak up a bit further? Mm -hmm. Keep coming. Honestly, I, we didn't actually do this before. I want to see what light. So, Beck, if she swings around, she can show you the light that's where the light is to Rara. Yeah, I can see it all. You can see that? Yeah. So, I'm just going to. I've got no idea, I've got thinking it might be super ugly, but let's try. That's actually a bit cool. A bit overexposed now because the light's onto her. But if we drop her back against that wall so she's back off that light, maybe across to the ladder a little bit, just there. Cool, that's stunning, stunning, stunning. We can drop in here for really cool, this is more aimed at a nice fashion type of shot. And this is coming up really, really cool. And you saw where the light is. It's completely above her. We have got a little bit of line on the nose in fashion. We don't care. <laughs> if we were shooting for a camera club competition, yeah, you're gonna get zero and kicked out of the club. <laughs> but at the same time, a lot of my videos, a lot of my things are about people who would like to either make this their living or they wanna shoot shots that should be in fashion magazines just cooking a little bit too much when you come off the wall. So you're better off staying against the wall. This is more to get people who want to actually make money out of their photos 
and shooting for what competition and judges want is not what's going to earn you money because most of the people in the world aren't photographers so they're not looking through the eyes of people who are in camera clubs. I know I keep going on about it but I'd say me trying to please a, an association of photographers many years ago pretty much put my whole commercial work five years backwards. And the quicker I got out of that association, the more work, the more money I made because now I'm shooting for everyday people, not people who are never going to buy my work. But that's come up absolutely gorgeous. What are you laughing at? I'm just away that you were like ranting, like, but anyway. I always rant. All right, and if I was just going to fine tune something, um, I might look at, so if one of the looks I do, did really like is something that we've got a, a side shadow off there, but the shadow isn't quite as dark as I'd want it because we're shooting at a 30th of a second. So I'm just going to drop this up back up to 160th of a second. I'm going to get you over onto this wall again. And if I just get off center a little bit, I'll just do, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want my blacks to be blacker. I want that shadow to be much darker. I like that, I really like that. And then I'm just going to shoot around. Cool, cool, beautiful, beautiful. And one other thing I'll just explain is, lots of people ask me about focusing. So I'm going to tell you every time I focus, and in between that is when I aren't focusing. And I'm using back button focus on this, and I've got a single spot. And I put that spot on the eye. I focus now. I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. Refocus, seven, eight, nine. Refocus, I'll move a bit, call focus. So a lot of, I don't focus every shot because unless we're moving at F8, it doesn't matter, just refocus, 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 shoot, refocus. Cool. I'm writing this one now, just right in there. Cool, beautiful face, drop it in. Cool, beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. In there, cool. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Cool. And I think when this catches up. Oh, I like that finishing shoot. I'm really liking that. And what I'm loving about this is, look at this beautiful high contrast, but look, we've still, oops, we've still got detail in all of our uh, whites and all of our blacks. It looks really bright and white. Look at the beautiful. So you saw how quick I was moving and focusing, and we've still got, if anything, that's most likely too sharp for me. And, oh, good, our sharpness is turned off. See how there's no click on here? So there's no sharpness at all on this. But to me, most models don't want that much sharpness on their skin. So I'd prefer it to be slightly softer than that if I was really shooting, and so with the models, yes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will throw it back to birthday girl to finish up, because now that she is 38, I mean 28 years old, I think Aeon would believe me if you said I was 38. Oh, now the sun's going. The sun's gone down. Fun times. I realised before I should have said at the start, but I forgot to, was I was going to make a disclaimer that Rara picked out what she was wearing, but by the now, haters have probably turned off anyway, so that's all fine. what she was wearing? I don't know, people always seem to have a go and stuff. They're going to have a go with us. So. They always have a go with us, it's fine. I don't really care. Um, the quicker you finish talking, the quicker you can have a wine. I think I want a beer. I think I drank too much wine yesterday. So I've already kind of said everything in the start of it though, but we hope you enjoyed that. As I said at the start, I will leave links to everything in the description. I will have gear used, inspire, workshops which are coming up, t-shirts, rah rah. I think that's all. What's with the muscles? I don't know. Oh, you've been working out, that's why you did the muscly arm thing. I didn't mean to, I don't know. I don't really think too much about what I do, it just kind of happens. Because like, you can eat brain cells. Like work, it? isn't it? You don't think too much about what you do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it just happens. It just happens. Life just happens. Um, yeah, comments, questions, leave them below. I will, I will reply to you guys pretending to be Peter. And <laughs> where's my little thingy-o? The thingy-o is down there. But you need to have rah-rah in the shop with you. 
since I'm wearing a rah rah t shirt. <laughs> no, I hit my nail. <laughs> Bye guys.